I'm Jen Cram with Breckenridge Creative Arts and I am back at the Tin Shop with guest artist Sarah Hall. Sarah is here from Hyannis, Massachusetts and she is a mixed media artist working on lots of wonderful things here. If you haven't been by the Tin Shop, we're located at 117 East Washington Avenue in the Breckenridge Arts District. Sarah? What are you working on here? Well, this is a portrait I started last night. I started out with an abstract painting with a bunch of colors, and then she just sort of emerged. I was thinking of maybe um, adding little pieces of mylar, which I can stick in here. So that's wow. just going to sort of make that turn reflective after a while. And so I referenced you as a mixed media artist. What are some of the mediums that you're using okay. in this painting? Yes, yeah, so started on panel. I paint with house paint, which I know sounds a little strange. But I like the movement of it. I enjoy laying my paintings flat and taking a spoon, and then I drizzle the line over it. So I get sort of this controlled but uncontrolled line. When I finish it with the resin, it has a UV protective in it, so it at that point it becomes archival. So I don't have to worry about it not being a great quality paint. Okay. I like the big cans and being able to sort of dip in and just randomly hurl. That's well, and your work has a wonderful movement and fluidity to it, so that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, thanks. So what are some of the projects that you'll be working on while you're here at the Tin Shop? Well, I'm experimenting with, which I'll show you in a little bit, the landscape piece where I'm okay. also working with Mylar on panel. They're mostly collage, so they're done on paper first, but I'm uh, experimenting with a reflective quality. I'm excited about yeah, it. You so. have to stop by and see these paintings with the Mylar. They have such a wonderful reflective quality the piece of the tin shop in particular. So yes. let's let's pull out the, the landscape and, and take okay. a look at that. Sure. I'd love to talk more about that process. Great. So what is happening with this landscape, Sarah? Well, you know, I'm experimenting with this one. It's um, one of my first mountain scenes. I wasn't quite satisfied with it, so I went over it with some crayon and some paint, and I put this sheet of mylar over the wow. top. So this is the original painting, which was on paper. All right. And then I collaged it down, and then I sanded it. And then after I sanded it, I decided I wanted to put this background on it. And then I went over it with a crayon and then some paint. And now I'm thinking I want to cut some of this out, but then fasten this down and sort of leave it Beautiful. the way it is. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. It's like magical. So Sarah, you are truly a mixed media artist. My main work I consider to be my clay work. Yesterday I started fooling around. I had these four tiles that I had tamped out in a form. Mm -hmm. And so you're painting on clay. Um, what are you using for your paint with this? I'm using the underglaze stains that you guys okay. here, had here in the studio. I've never used them before with a clear glaze over top. I experimented a little bit with my carving tools, so I've removed some of the color in order to expose the raw clay. Then I also put a white underglaze stain over top, decided I didn't like it, and then sponged it off. And then okay. I kind of like the effect that I got from removing it, so. And so Sarah will be teaching a workshop on Saturday, March 28th at the Ceramic Studio from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And she's gonna share with us her expertise in painting on tiles using the underglazes and stains. And if you have any questions or need some additional information, you can go to our website at www.breckcreate.org. There's a full calendar of our workshops as well as other events that Breckenridge Creative Arts promotes. Thank you, Sarah. It's been wonderful being in the studio with you today. Thank you. Thank you.